Welcome to this presentation about what are the rules and the regulations regarding landlord insurance. So how landlords can ensure they have the correct insurance and not risk the consequences of being caught without uh, the, and caught with the wrong insurance. So perhaps you are a new landlord, perhaps you want to know what insurance you need and the elements of a good landlord insurance policy and where you can get that policy and how to reduce the risk of a claim. So we're going to look at the landlord insurance responsibilities. So we're going to look at the elements of landlord insurance, look at some practical points to look at in your, in your property business and how to reduce the risk of claims. So we're going to go through all of that and after the step-by-step -step process, I'm going to explain how you can achieve all of those things for yourself. So firstly, landlord insurance responsibilities. So it's not actually a legal requirement. However, in our tenancy agreement and all good tenancy agreements, it will state that the landlord must keep the property insured against fire and other usual comprehensive risks. And this is an interesting part. As long as the insurance cover is available on reasonable terms. So if you can imagine a property that is basically uninsurable, perhaps on a cliff edge or some other reason it's not insurable. I guess the AST covers that eventuality. But for 99% of the houses in the UK, it is in the tenancy agreement to say, keep it insured. So your mortgage lender may require your, uh, landlord insurance if they're gonna offer you a product, a buy to let mortgage product. Um, a conventional home insurance does not cover rental activity. So if, for example, you have a, your, a, your own home, you move out, you get consent to let from your mortgage advisor, your tenant moves in, your insurance will not be appropriate for that type of activity. So you need to upgrade your, your insurance policy. So what is landlord insurance? So three points here. It protects you from compensation claims related to the rental property, to renting a property. Some, someone injures themselves, for example, um, and other property is damaged as a result of your property. So that's some good uh, reasons you need landlord insurance. Um, it's a type of public liability insurance that there is um, to pay the compensation for legal fee and legal fees um, to a third party such as a tenant or visitor or a tradesperson. And in our increasingly litigious society, um, there is um, added risk of false claims being made and liability insurance is therefore vital for your peace of mind. So that's the, what landlord insurance is. And the elements of landlord insurance, a bit more comprehensive than your owner, occupier type of insurance. So it will cover the building, as you would expect, the repair of the building uh, following an insured event like a flood or a fire. So loss of rent. So covering um, the follow, following um, your rental property becoming uninhabitable after an insured event or alternative accommodation costs for your tenant due to the property becoming uninhabitable for again for a flood or a fire, for example. So the property owner's liability, it will protect against legal liability for personal injury or personal damage suffered by third parties while at your property. There's an employer's liability element to it, so it covers for cleaners, gardeners, caretakers, etc., and the person doing minor maintenance and repairs um, at your insured property. Unoccupied property cover, it includes, so full cover of for up to 90 days of unoccupancy, so between tenancies or while the property is for sale, and malicious damage by tenants, so perhaps cover for malicious damage uh, caused by tenants to your property um, as standard. So there are some elements that would normally be over and above for your owner occupier's insurance that landlord insurance does cover. So practical points about how you get this cover. So use a broker. So I guess you can go online and get the comparison sites and you might be able to get this cheapest, the cheapest version, but cheap policies normally don't have the, the comprehensive cover that landlords would probably need. So I would always recommend going to a broker to get their advice. They have the whole of market and often can see, see the, the best products on the market at the time. Um, so filing the documents, this is a practical point. Once you get that cover, you must make sure that you file the documents in your your filing system, whether it's on paper, whether it's an online filing system. And you must then put in the date into some calendar or some reminder process that you know that you need to re renew your, 
your insurance on a, a normally an annual basis. Using a broker also helps because they will also remind you that it's, it's coming up for renewal. So practical points about how you might administer the insurance process. Um, how you can reduce the risk of a claim. Again, this is, this is a kind of basic property management type of activities. So conduct a risk assessment at the start of the tenancy. So when you go around your property, um, do you have a checklist about, check all the things that you need to make sure that are safe and compliant um, as part of your check-in process with your, with your tenants. If you spot anything, you can get it fixed. So inspect every six months, make sure you document that with photos and notes. And again, have a checklist. You know what questions you need to answer, the things that you wanna check as part of your inspection and repairs. So make sure that you're notified of repairs, you record all of that and you get them fixed in a timely manner. So I hope that was helpful. We talk, we've talked about landlord insurance responsibilities, the elements that make up a good landlord insurance policy. We've talked about some practical points around administration and how to reduce the risk of a claim. So if um, you've enjoyed today's presentation and you would like my team's help with any of your property management requirements, please do book a phone call with me. The link is in the, in the, um, below the video. We have spaces to take some phone call appointments, but the spaces do fill up and when they're gone, they're gone. So on that call, we will listen to your issues, we'll understand what you want to achieve and you will, we will give you our best advice. And if at the end of that phone call, it feels like we're a good fit for you, and we will see if we can work with you. So book an appointment and let's have a chat. Until next time, thank you for listening. Please do subscribe to this channel, like and comment on the videos that you see, and please do click on the links below. There's more access to more free content. Um, and in the meantime, here is to the success of your property business.